Get out your postmodern rule book because I got a fresh new edition for you. This time it's uh, it's from the University of Minnesota. And the policy is so steeped in postmodern terminology that it practically prances off the page with a hashtag resist hat on its head. Here it is. Um, Equality and access, gender identity, gender expression, names and pronouns, which states that members of the academic institution are expected now to use the names and gender identities and pronouns specified to them by university members. So let me translate here. College students can freely decide their gender and any faculty who fails to respect their highly malleable identity will face punishment. All right. Now, bear with me because it's about to get really pretentious here. Um, And it's important to decipher what they're actually saying so we can respond respectfully and tactfully. Here's the policy. Individuals may access gender-specific facilities that correspond with their gender identities and may participate in university activities and programs consistent with their gender identities, including but not limited to housing, restrooms, locker rooms, recreation services, uh, activities, and camp programs. Uh, Individuals will not be required to use their gender-specific facilities that are inconsistent with their gender identity or use gender-inclusive options because their sex assigned at birth or sex listed on legal documents differs from their gender identity or gender expression. So let me translate again. Anything goes here. As long as the student's highly subjective gender reality is unwaveringly respected, everything's going to be okay. Now, this would be satire. But it's really not. It's called postmodernism. In other news, the same group of students are hosting a parade for science. Now, when's the last time we had a good science parade? You know, Uh, they are. I'm not making this up. They are donning their vulva shaped beanies. And uh, they're going to march around an effigy of President Trump for not letting them morph into any gender, race, or age they like. Because somehow or another, it's science, man. It's science. 